Which, which one, mate? The one on Saturday night. Oh, Olga? Yeah. Oh, I don't know her name. Uh, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah, she's beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. She was uh, very interesting, quite intriguing. She had this deep sort of throaty, grunty laugh. And uh, it sort of turned me on as, uh, you know, that sort of sound a dog makes before it spews up? Jeez. <laughs> oh, We're back, fellas. The DHL Lion Series head hard and balls. Staff and Nisbo, great to have you back in the hot seat. Is there anything you want to get off your chest, Grant? I, I was a disgrace when it came to our selections. I'm sorry, boys. No, I'm pleased you brought uh, that I, I think I said 31 to 40. Well, how far away was I? But I wasn't to know, was I, that A, the Lions would be so bad, and B, the provincial barbarians would be so good. Yeah, it wasn't that genuine, mate. You told me to get my head checked. Let's, but, uh, let's not forget the mine came in. Thank you, Ant. Yeah, well done, mate. How much was that pain? That was 2.30, I think, so a nice you know, conservative start, but I'm in the black and you're in the red. Yeah, good game. Uh, good game for the Barbarians, but uh, for Warren Gatlin's team, well, you know, mixed emotions there. Grant, thoughts? Yeah, look, it was a pretty scrappy start. There was no real enthusiasm. There was uh, very little direction. I'm not sure what they were trying to do, to be perfectly honest. They were outpassioned by a team of uh, blokes who, not many of them play Super Rugby. In fact, one guy's never played at the ITM Cup. They played scared. They played like they thought they were going to be test players because they'd been in camp longer. They didn't... It, the very first kickoff, the ball bounced. No one wanted the contact against a bunch of semi-professional, hard-as-nails Kiwis. But if you think about... like We're going to talk about the Crusaders and the Lions. If the Crusaders played the New Zealand Barbarians, they would absolutely spank them. What does Warren Gatlin do to his side going forward now? What changes does he make? Oh, look, he, um, he's got so many, so many um, players, hasn't he? And uh, he has said before the tournament started, Nisbo, I think, or not the, before the tour started, everyone would get a game by the end of three games. So um, you're the man with the stats. So I don't know. How many players haven't played in the first two games? Four players haven't played, um, so I think we can just about lock them in for the game against the Crusaders. Uh, Sean O'Brien, who's probably the best open side flanker on the, in the team, except Sam Warburton's the tour captain, so that makes it hard for O'Brien. Connor Murray, arguably the best halfback in, uh, in Europe. He hasn't played yet. Jonathan Davis, uh, midfielder, the Welsh mid midfielder, quality player, we all know that. And big George North hasn't played either, so those four blokes haven't played, so I can think we can put the ring around the fact that they'll be in the game against the Crusaders. Thing is, Ant, how long since the Crusaders lost the game? The Crusaders have gone 14 from 14, mate, and that's the second side in Super Rugby history since the 2002 Crusaders side who went a uh, perfect season. These guys are playing bloody good rugby, mate. You know, Razor Robinson, is he's happier than a dog with two tails. He is, he is, and it's, um, it's interesting from you. Um, that, that was almost quite deep. Um, you're, no, you're known for your loose nature, your ridiculous retorts, but that was almost quite measured. What's happened? Has well, Olga uh, got to you? No, 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 Olga. Well, as you can see, I'm a, a proud Cantabrian right now, mate. I'm quite one-eyed. One yeah, yeah, how many teams have you supported in Super Rugby? Yeah, all five. You know, I've gone through seasons. They call me the chameleon, mate. I was, I was with the Blues and the Chiefs, the Canes for a bit. I'm, I love the Highlanders. But money does talk these days, Staff. You know, I'm on a big wicket down south. What, as MC at the ground? <laughs> yeah, I'm the MC of the ground, mate. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, mate, the Crusaders are going well. Um, I'm looking forward to it. That rookie back line, Mawanga, you've got your bridge, your Havili's. Uh, Tim Bateman, he's probably going to be in the mix now because um, Crotty's out with rib cartilage damage. It's an exciting back line that can take on these barbarians. What about the forwards of Crusaders? I mean, they're almost all All Blacks. Uh, that, that's where they're going to win the game, I'm sure. With Warren Gatlin having spent so much time, he's probably got citizenship or passports or something from Wales. Does that trickle down to Bryn? And could we see Bryn in the Lions by the end of the tour? I'll tell you a story. I was chatting with Warren Gatlin six months ago, um, and he told me the story of Bryn. And he said that he had a, he rang him up, um, let's say 12 months ago, and said, "Son, I can get you some good contracts in Europe. Are you keen?" He said. Very short and sweet comment. Dad, I want to be an All Black. I don't think you would ever be an All Black. Are you free balling? 100%. Mm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going in the try bet. Yeah. Um, and I'm going more than triple my money here. I'm going to say the Crusaders will win by eight or more. And I wouldn't be surprised if they beat that quite comfortably. But I'm betting with my heart. 
And I'm saying the Crusaders just carry on their winning way. Their Super Rugby form carries on with the Lions. Crusaders by eight or more. Wow. Grant, can you add any uh, wisdom to your betting? Probably not wisdom, but I can add something. Um, <laughs> Steph and I... Steph and I might end up both winning because I'm going to go Crusaders 12 and under. So his eight and over and my 12 and under, there's a little uh, meeting but, point there. A little window of opportunity. 10, yes. Yeah, there is. So look, I'm going to go Crusaders 12 and under. I think they'll stay unbeaten um, up until the time they meet the Hurricanes. All righty, righty, righty. Uh, well, oh, I'm bracing myself. This could be anything. This could be. Do you want to give your thing a wave before you? Well, the hands, the hands are a bit cold down there on the on the old raisins. But I tell you what, uh, they they're talking to me, and uh, I'm feeling he's saying a name. Oh, David Harvey, the meter eater. i will tell you what, he won't be pleased that his name sprung to mind when you were going through your ritual. Then. Yeah, well, that's why my ritual works. As we, oh, it nearly works actually. Um, I'm so fizzed that I just got one up of on Grunter last week, you know, just missing out by the one point. But Havili, he's been in sublime form. Uh, he's actually leading the Super Rugby uh, standings as the man who's made the most metres. He's scored eight tries this year, and I think that he's going to dot down first. He knows how to find the chalk. Let me just stop you there. We were both losers, pal. Yes, <laughs> Grant, yes. There's no first loser and second loser, is there? You just call your jets there, horse. Yeah, uh, I just want, yeah, you laughed at me last week. You actually did laugh at me and told me to get my head checked. My mum was laughing. asking. I'm still laughing for, for a number of reasons. Uh, yeah, my mum's a big fan of you, Grant. And uh, last week she um, said I was adopted after she, you told me to get my head checked. And then she actually took me back into the family after that. So uh, <laughs> it's all fun and games, mate. Well, yeah, thanks for your inside, lads. And thanks for your wisdom. And hopefully some of these bets can come off. Up the mighty Crusaders. And uh, we'll see you next week as the Lions take on the Maori All Blacks. Ooh.